Ever pondered what life would be like on another planet? From the dawn of civilization, humans have gazed up at the night sky with a sense of wonder and curiosity. The vast expanse of the cosmos, sprinkled with twinkling stars and distant galaxies, has always held an irresistible allure. This fascination has fueled our imagination, inspiring countless myths, legends, and eventually, scientific exploration. In our ceaseless quest to understand the universe, we've continually asked one question. Are we alone? This burning curiosity has spurred the search for extraterrestrial life, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and technology. It's a journey that has taken us to the moon, sent robotic explorers to Mars, and now has us reaching for the stars. Enter the concept of Earth-like planets, celestial bodies that share characteristics with our own home. These planets, located in the habitable zone of their star systems, are considered our best bet for finding life beyond Earth. They offer the right conditions, not too hot, not too cold, for liquid water to exist, a crucial ingredient for life as we know it. But the cosmos is vast, and the search for these elusive Earth-like planets is like looking for a needle in a cosmic haystack. Yet, in the face of this daunting task, we've made remarkable progress. In the past two decades alone, we've discovered thousands of exoplanets, each one a new world waiting to be explored. And then we found it, a planet that has captured our collective imagination like no other, Earth 2.0. Situated over a thousand light years away, this celestial body bears an uncanny resemblance to our own planet. It's a discovery that has sent ripples throughout the scientific community, igniting a new spark in our quest to find life beyond Earth. With the discovery of Earth 2.0, we are one step closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? Imagine a world just like ours, a second Earth. Sounds like science fiction, right? But let's delve into the realm of reality. Our quest for a second home begins with the diligent work of scientists who use advanced methods to find exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. The tools they employ range from telescopes for direct imaging to complex mathematical models and even the transit method which involves observing the slight dimming of a star as a planet passes in front of it. One of the most significant contributions to exoplanet discovery has come from the Kepler mission. Launched in the first quarter of 2009, Kepler's primary mission was to determine the number of Earth-size and larger planets in or near the habitable zone. This zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, is the region around a star where conditions are just right, not too hot, not too cold, for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. The Kepler spacecraft, named after the 17th century astronomer Johannes Kepler, was equipped with a photometer to continuously monitor the brightness of over 145,000 main sequence stars. It was a veritable planet hunting powerhouse, and its efforts paid off when it discovered an exoplanet that scientists dubbed Earth 2.0. But what makes a planet Earth like? It's not just about being the right size or in the right place, it's about having the right conditions for life as we know it. An Earth-like planet would need a stable orbit around its star, a protective atmosphere, and the presence of water. It's a tall order but one that Kepler's Earth 2.0 seems to meet. The Kepler mission's discovery of Earth 2.0 was a monumental breakthrough in our quest for a second home. It gave us a glimmer of hope that, out there in the vast expanse of the cosmos, there might just be another place for us to call home. A journey to Earth 2.0 is not just a trip next door. We're talking about a voyage of 1,400 light years away. That's like taking a Sunday drive from your house to a destination over 8,000 times the distance to Pluto. Now you may be wondering how we could possibly cover such a vast distance. The answer lies in the technology we currently have and the advancements yet to be made. Today, our fastest spacecraft, the Parker Solar Probe, travels at a speed of approximately 430,000 miles per hour. At this speed, reaching Earth 2.0 would take us about 6 million years. Clearly, we need to speed things up a bit. One solution could be the concept of a generational spaceship. This is a type of spacecraft where generations of people live and die on board during the voyage, with their descendants arriving at the destination. It's a mind-boggling concept, isn't it? Alternatively, we could turn to the world of science fiction for inspiration. Warp drives anyone? While it may sound like a concept straight out of Star Trek, scientists are actually exploring the theoretical possibility of warping space-time to travel faster than light. And then, there's the idea of cryonic suspension or sleeping our way to the stars. 
This involves the cooling of humans to extremely low temperatures with the hope of reviving them in the future. But these are just theories and concepts for now. To actually reach Earth 2.0, we would need to make significant advancements in areas such as propulsion technology, life support systems, and even artificial intelligence to help manage these long voyages. Indeed, the journey to Earth 2.0 is not a small feat. It is a monumental task that will test the very limits of our creativity, our scientific knowledge, and our determination. But if history is any indication, it's that when we humans set our minds to something, we usually find a way to make it happen. The journey to Earth 2.0 may be long and fraught with challenges, but with our ever-advancing technology, it's a journey we are prepared to embark on. Because after all, aren't we all just a little bit starstruck? What would life be like on Earth 2.0? Would it be a mirror image of our current existence or something entirely different? Let's delve into the realm of scientific predictions to explore the potential conditions on this fascinating exoplanet. Earth 2.0, as we've come to call it, might not be identical to our current home, but it is expected to share some striking similarities. Picture a world with diverse ecosystems, lush greenery, and colossal bodies of water. But unlike our Earth, Earth 2.0 might possess unique physical and chemical properties that could fundamentally alter the way life exists. Now, let's imagine the possibilities of human adaptation and survival on Earth 2.0. It's a thrilling thought, isn't it? Living on an alien world, we might need to adapt to a different atmospheric composition, gravity, and even a distinct day-night cycle. Our bodies would possibly undergo evolutionary changes, and our lifestyles might change drastically. In terms of survival, it won't be a walk in the park. We'd need to develop advanced technologies to harness the resources of this new world, to grow food, and to build sustainable habitats. The challenges would be monumental, but remember, we're a species that has survived ice ages, pandemics, and wars. Our resilience and ingenuity have always been our greatest assets. And what about society? Would we bring the same societal structures from Earth, or would we create something entirely new, shaped by the unique conditions and challenges of Earth 2.0? Would our languages, cultures, and traditions evolve in this new environment? The possibilities are endless and the answers are as exciting as they are uncertain. But amidst all these questions and speculations, one thing remains clear. Earth 2.0 could be a second chance for humanity, a chance to rectify the mistakes we've made on Earth, to build a more sustainable future, to create a society that cherishes its planet rather than exploiting it. Though we can't say for certain, Life on Earth 2.0 could be a second chance for humanity to thrive in a new world. The discovery of Earth 2.0 is just the beginning. The future of space exploration holds infinite possibilities. As we venture further into the cosmos, our focus shifts towards the exploration of Earth 2.0 and other potential Earth-like planets. We are on a quest to find answers to some of our most profound questions. What lies beyond our solar system? Is there life elsewhere in the universe? And most importantly, can we, as a species, survive beyond our home planet? The exploration of Earth 2.0 offers us a glimpse into what our future might look like. As we continue to study and learn about this new world, we'll be able to better understand its climate, geology, and potential for life. This knowledge will be crucial as we plan for potential human habitation on Earth 2.0 and other similar planets. But our curiosity doesn't stop at Earth 2.0. We're looking at a whole universe filled with billions of stars, each potentially hosting planets of their own. With advancements in technology, we are now able to detect these exoplanets and study their atmospheres from afar. This opens up a whole new frontier for exploration and discovery. The continued exploration of space is not just about satisfying our curiosity, it's about ensuring the survival and advancement of the human race. As our home planet faces various challenges, from climate change to resource depletion, it becomes increasingly important for us to look beyond Earth for solutions and alternatives. Furthermore, the exploration of space fuels innovation and technological advancements. It drives us to push the boundaries of what is possible, leading to breakthroughs that often have far-reaching implications, not just for space travel, but for life here on Earth. As we stand on the precipice of a new era in space exploration, we are not just looking at the stars, we are preparing to live among them.